This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We're in the warm-up with Susan Faulkner, Evans, and Bo. We're working on, on the bit now. You can see Bo is thrilled at the canter. But those who followed Bo know he he's came with a lot of issues. And like some horses, she's still working through them. So what we're doing now is asking him to stay on the contact at the canter. Good boy. Good, good. Praise him. That's it, more push. Remember, every time he does a corner, you're gonna get his back end more active. Good. So what Susan's feeling today is a live rein, I call it, where Bo is actually stepping up and taking a contact and being alive on the rein instead of going into robot mode where he just holds it or where he just doesn't wanna take up a feel. Yep, keep him alive on the reins. Now you feel he'll drop it and lose it, right? As Soon as you feel him disconnect from that live contact, you've got to activate his back end and praise him. Good. Yep, more forward. More. Good. This speed of forward, but now you've got to get him connected. Bo will be competing in second level this year, and so we need to have a second level balance for him. Good. Connect him more. You'll have to, I know he's not going to like it, you can feel for the canter, he's like, why are you taking up that feel on my mouth? Good, good, yes, you wanna get his neck really big in the front. Feel like he lifts his shoulder up higher, higher. Half halt, half halt, half halt, half halt, more forward, half halt, more forward, half halt, more, there. That's it, get him to lift his neck at the base, right by your hands. Half halt, send him forward, half halt, send him forward. Yep. Half halt, send him forward big time. Good. Half halt, rock him back under your seat, then send him forward and praise him. Good. Half halt, send him forward. Half halt. Start adding curves, they'll make it easier for you. Half halt, more activity. Half halt, more activity. Yep, more activity. He's like, what? What do you mean more activity? Good boy. Yep. Get the base of his neck up higher right in front of your hands so you'll have to shorten your outside rein and get more active with your legs, asking him to pick up that live connection. Good, take your time. Live connection, more from behind. Good, more. That's it, his shoulder can come up another two inches, so you know. That's right, half halt, so he sits down. Oh, here's an exercise you can do now that he's kind of warmed up. Do six steps, canter into a walk, change directions and pick up the other lead. So you're gonna do, it's, it's like, like this, a straight line, one lead, walk, do the corner, pick up the other lead. Just six strides. It'll help him to sit down and lift his shoulders. Yep. Uh, good luck, by the way. Two, three, four, five, walk. It's gonna be rough at first. Change directions like a turn on the haunches. Nope, now you're going to pick up the right lead. Or, yeah, pick up. then you're going to pick up the opposite lead. So every time you'll pick up the other lead. Good, it's just a square corner into the other lead. Six steps, canter. One, two, three, four, prepare and walk. Go around the corner to your left and pick up your left lead. You're going to pick it up right there. Yep. Good, good. It gets them on the inside hind different. Do you feel it? So this exercise will teach him to sit and to stay on the inside hind. Good, take your time. It's gonna feel ugly at first because this is, you were saying that he has a hard time coming from the walk to the canter. This is the exercise that'll help him with that. Right away, canter as soon as he, good, good. Two, three, four, five, six to the walk. You need to prepare sooner for the walk. So you can see you're doing, because they come up fast, right? You'll get it where you can do this in four strides, but not today. Change leads every time. She asked if we're doing the same lead. We have to keep Bo mentally active. Three, four, five, six. Oh good, you're preparing different. Now his neck is coming up. Do you feel his shoulder coming up? Good, take your time. Good. A little bit of disconnect on the rein from you, so you'll have to, when you do your downward transition, make sure he stays sitting. It's a hard exercise, I know. But it really isolates where you're keeping him connected. You feel him coming up bigger in his shoulder now? That's where he's sitting more. One, two, three.
three, four, five by nine. That's all right, that's all right, because you're gonna fall in and out of six many times. Good, one, two, three, four, that's all right. Yep, you can feel he starts throwing his nose up and stuff. That's where your outside rein has to be shorter. And you're gonna keep him there with your outside leg. Take your time. Bo's saying this is really hard. It is really a hard exercise. One, two, three, four, prepare, prepare, and walk. Keep him more connected. You feel where he disconnects his head? That's where you're letting your ring go too much. So you've got to keep him in that same contact as you come down to the walk. Keep the contact, keep the contact, keep him alive on the reins. Good, good, keep him alive on the reins. Much better. Good, good. It's a thinking exercise. Bo's like, I don't really know if Bill Bo says, I'm not so sure I want to think. Yep, that's it. That's where you have to hold on your outside rein to keep him under your seat. Good boy. Praise him. It's a different balance for him. He's not being bad. This is different. We're asking him for a second level balance now in his transitions from the canter to the walk. So to do that, he has to sit down more. His shoulders will be up. Take your time. Talk to him. Yeah, he's really bigger now, isn't he? Well, this is where I should be, you know, in the walk, riding him forward into the walk. Yes. And then into the can, ride forward in the walk. That's exactly right. And you'll find if you don't, that's where he'll disconnect from the rain. And that's, he's going to do it at first because this is new to him, so there's nothing he can do wrong. You just praise him and be, feel how active his back is now? Good. That's it. And you can, you'll be working on that head for a while. So this is what most riders do is when they're picking up the canter to the walk, the downward and upward transition, they let the reins go loose and the horse can't stay in the balance that we would like them to. Good! Did you feel him sit down? Good, good. Now think, sit. He's got to sit. So you've got to shorten your rein. Sit, sit, sit. Good, good. Everything now is sitting. Second level is the beginning of sitting. So now think, before he takes off, he's got to sit. Slow down the front end until his back, yep, until he picks up his shoulder, then ask for the canter. So keep him connected where he sits down as he picks up the canter. Praise him. He's trying to figure it out. This is such a hard exercise. Good, good. Now try to keep him in that frame as you come to the walk. You'll notice I said try. Slower, slower, slow down the front end, get the back end to stop first. Good, good. Praise him. It's all right. This is, this is not an easy exercise, but this is where your question was, right? Yeah, to get him into the walk right after that. What do you feel about his walk when he comes out of it now? Well, I still don't feel I'm riding forward enough at the walk. Forward enough at the walk. Okay, does he come from a canter to a collected walk? 